Hey guys, have you ever gone online and tried to get a campsite that you'll fit in and it says maximum RV length 35 or 40 and you're like, but the site looks bigger than that. I wonder if I might really fit in there. Well, I got a little tip for you. You might find this interesting. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy duty truck Leroy, our two K&M motorcycles, our DRV Dixie and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. I'm always a bit of a worry wart and I'm always concerned being as long as we are, especially when we have the tote with us behind the fifth wheel and being 76 feet long that we're going to have tight turns we're going to have a hard time backing into a site um, pull throughs usually are, work good but sometimes pull throughs are really tight loops and so being the little worry wart that I am I always try to do my homework and I have found that the Google Earth app is super helpful so far we've been really lucky and we've never gotten any spots where we needed assistance We've always figured a way to get out. Sometimes we have to back out of a pull through or we have to have somebody helping us make the turns around corners or move some things or cars in order for us to make some turns. Everybody's always usually great help about that. They understand. And there's always somebody watching, of course. So I always try to do some homework ahead of time and take a look at Google Earth to get a better idea of how long sites are, what our turns are going to look like, and how are we going to get out of there. So this tip may help you even if you're not long like we are, even just a 45 foot motorhome. Sometimes it can be tricky for you to back in too. So I'm hoping that this tip might help some people. If you don't have the Google Earth app, you should get it and download it to your computer or your phone. It has helped me tremendously in trying to find sites that are long enough for us. Because many times I'll go look at sites and they'll say maximum length for RV is 35 and then find out we could have fit in there. So on Google Earth, if you're down the right hand corner there's a 3D and a 2D. And you can scroll with your mouse or with your fingers to blow up the screen and get a better look. When you put it back to 2D you look straight down. This is what I use to find out the length of sites. This is Old Federal Campground and this is an Army Corps of Engineers campground but you can do this with any campground provided that you have Google Earth. We were looking for sites that would be next to each other that could handle two of us that were over 70 feet long. This site here was 27 and this is 28. On their website, when I went to site 28, I could see a picture of it, but it doesn't look like it's very big. But over here on the left hand side it says maximum length 70 feet. Now for the site 27, which to me on Google Earth looked like it was even bigger, when I clicked on it, it said that the maximum length was 67. So I went to Google Earth and I'm looking here's 28, here's 27, and 27 is supposedly shorter. I want to find out how long is it really. On the left hand side you'll see a little, a little ruler. If you click on that and then you click on your start point you see a little cross there click on that and then I go all the way up to the road and there it's over a hundred feet it's 106 feet now this where I click down the back of this RV it may be hanging over a little bit but you can always hang your RV over a little bit so our friends Jeannie and Alex who are 75 feet long would not have a problem there we're staying in 28 so I clicked on that and measured it knowing that we could block them a little bit but we still didn't want to get out in the road and sure enough ours was like over 90 feet so we knew we would fit there as well. I decided to take out my rolling measurer and I ran it down both of our K-9 
campsites and found out that we were about 96 feet and they're about 112 feet and of course then you have the hangover which makes them a lot longer than what they are. You can also use that measuring tool to check out pull throughs. Click here at the road. You can just make multiple clicks to kind of bend around the road to find out how long it is. This one is 139 feet. However, their website says maximum length 75 feet. Also, if you click on that 3D in the bottom right hand corner, you can kind of get a visual of what those sites will look like and what your view will be. Click back on where it says 2D and again you can get view from above. Hit the little compass and it'll take you back to north. So there we are and of course I can scroll out I can see we're going to have a nice view of the water. If you have a whole lot of trees it can be more difficult and you may not be able to use that tool. Just down the road from us there's more campsites but it's kind of difficult to see how long they are. The other thing that this did for us, it also gave us an idea how big the cul-de-sac was to see whether or not we would be able to turn around in there. And this is too tight for us. So we're going to have to either back out of here or probably back down a little bit and then kind of back into our site to be able to come back out this way. Otherwise, we'll probably just back down to the street. Here's another example. Online, I wanted to reserve a campsite at Creek Fire Resort in Savannah, Georgia, because we want to stay there for a week this winter. And so on their home page, I just scrolled down till I found their address. I went to their booking section, and I could see they had some pictures and some descriptions of some of the sites to give me an idea. But they also have sites that are next to the water, what they call lake pull-throughs. So I thought, well, let me go to Google Earth and take a better look. I can't measure on their own campground map. So I put their address into Google Earth. Off we go flying. And being that this is a private campground, it's very helpful to be able to see what the sites look like. 2D I can see straight up and down and that way I know I'm going to be able to measure. They also have a section back here along the water and I always like looking at water so I thought well if we're gonna go there let's go where we want to be what we want to see and I click on the little ruler over here and I can say click and click 90 feet long no problem. I can also see there's a little turning spot here, so if I could potentially get one of these sites in here, then I know I'm going to have enough room for us to move around in here and then get back out. So it's very helpful for private campgrounds as well. So there's a little tip for you, and I hope this will help some people. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.